Um, okay, I think we are live on Facebook. So I'm so excited. Let me make sure. Okay. Uh, you're muted again. I know it, it was my little secret. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I was uh, dictating something to somebody. I was like, here, hurry, just do these notes because they're still going. And so Tanya is catching the tail end of it and I'm doing the first end and I'm just going to keep going. So it's totally fine. So first five minutes. Um, how did you guys do yesterday? How are you doing with, um, any wins? That's what we're going to do. Any wins from yesterday, the day before I see Jamie. I have a win. Um, so I am working on selling my first 499 kits and, um, so I'm pretty excited because it, obviously it's my first one um but she's signing up as we speak yay okay you guys so tangent for a hot second um that you're gonna get i'm watching on facebook i promise i have like 20 screens it's wonderful so when you did with the 499 kit, how did you present it? Did you just say these are the things or because I'm going to ask the question there and then I'm going to go into another way that we've learned. I want to see if you. Which so way I've actually it's a really close friend of mine um, that I've known for years and she's been shopping a lot with me and I've been working with her like just like here and there, like she's kind of thrown it out there. Like, Hey, she's talked about, Oh, can I go to convention with you? I'm like, yes, you could go, but let's, maybe you could do it this way. And she's just asked kind of these circle of questions surrounding of uh, joining. And so, um, I was working with, um, another consultant to kind of help me, um, work with the 499 kit because I've never done it. And I don't know how to even approach someone with that. And um, one of the things, and I know from experience, because I got the 99 was like, I had to buy more jewelry. And my biggest thing was, I never knew what convention was until I actually went. So even though I bought the small kit, I still had to buy more jewelry and my ticket. And um, that was kind of the thing was like, kind of giving her that information and saying, hey, there's more of this value in this kit. And on top of it, not only do you get, you know, a lot more jewelry, but you also get your convention ticket. And it is, if I knew what convention was when I first joined and signed up, I would have just done the large kit. Okay. I love that. Cause you were playing off of like her, her questions and her feelings. So I'm going to put this out there to all of you guys. Okay. If I came to you, okay, let me rephrase that. You came to me and I was sitting on, I was at a car lot, okay? And you came to look at a car. And I just said, oh my goodness, you need to buy this truck because it has this engine. I know nothing about cars. I don't know why I'm giving this as an example, but you're going to get it. It has this horsepower and it has this gear and it has this. And I'm like telling you all those things. You don't care about how some people do care, but a majority of people are like, I don't care about it. The AC goes up to 20 knots and it is, has this type of, if I was to give you all the different facts, like you don't care. But if I change it and I said, this is the most amazing car because I have taken this car. Um, I have one just like this. And I go up into the mountains. I'm able to spend time with my family and we have such a great time together. You are giving that experience. You are giving them and you're talking to them about them and having them visualize seeing that. And so you're giving the value of the truck instead of here, it does this with air conditioning. Again, my husband's into all the tech stuff. So that stuff will get him. But I think it's kind of listening to your people and, um, I have, sorry, I have a heat pad. It's getting too hot in here. And so it's giving the value about it, that it is 
Um, and as you were talking, I just thought about it that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go make a post on my page of saying, would, um, and I have to process through this, but something about, um, would you be interested in going to Janet Jackson concert with me? Let me know. Well, I was looking at Taylor Swift concert and do you know how much those tickets were? And I couldn't even get in the queue and I'm still angry about it that I spent two days trying to get those stupid tickets. Well, give the value. So did you wanna go, um, if you wanna go to, there's this concert that you get to go to and it's Janet Jackson and you give the value, you get, what is it? It's 200 pieces of jewelry. So what is that times five? That's 510, you get $1,000 worth of jewelry. So you're giving the value step by step where a convention ticket is $250 alone right there. So you get um, access to a our convention, our conference that's worth $250. You get um, access to Janet Jackson concert, which if you were to pay for a concert, how much are those? Anywhere from 150, 250 to thousands of dollars, depending on where you're sitting. And you can get down on the floor at our convention. And so it's kind of breaking down the different kits. And so you're giving more of like, it's a no brainer. Why would I not sign up with a $499 kit? Because I'm getting thousands of dollars worth of stuff for only $499. Same thing with the $300 kit. You're getting um, 120 pieces. Again, my math is not there right now, but 100 pieces is $500 worth of jewelry. So do the breakdown of you get this, this, and this for only $299. And not to mention, put in there, you get access to this 90-day um, recruiting. If I was to pay, well, I did pay for this. This was $25,000 for this training that you guys are getting access to for free. So they're getting access to um, these different trainings of these 90-day, uh, I want to say they were like three to $5,000 each if people were to pay for them individually. So they're getting, you look at courses that you go spend to do a week's worth of courses, look at those different conferences. Um, we've got training courses on Frank Diva's team. Give them those values of here or Frank Diva's, team.com we've got different courses we've got different things you've got the support give them the breakdown and it's like this is the value that you're getting out of this so um tanya sorry i kind of rambled on a tangent for a second so i haven't gotten into anything about the call today <laughs> i thought you were jump starting me i was i was jump starting and then i tangent warming the people oh. up <laughs> team uh so where should we pick up Brittany? So I would probably, cause I just kind of just talked about like some starter kits. And so Eric didn't talk about it, but I would probably go into, um, more of, oh, no, we can tie this in because I feel like when you're talking to people about the opportunity, you'll get where I'm going here in a second. When you talk to people about the opportunity, I feel like sometimes with me, I either throw up too much information. I give them, like I said about the bike that it's, or the car, I give them way too many facts where I, if you're just listening to them and listening to their questions, and then you go into that, or there's other times where I compare myself to other people. And so Eric talked about that is don't look at other people. Don't compare yourself to other people. And <laughs> I'll take it from there. Listen, because then I tied it in for you. <laughs> you guys, listen, I picked up on it. The message for today or the training for today is in, an inviting tool. So there is a script. Get your pen and paper because we have a verbatim. As Brittany was just saying, sometimes we can regurgitate too much information too quickly. So Eric has given us a, a verbatim script on not to allow that to happen. And then we'll circle back around to where he began. So I don't want to dilly-dally. We've reached our hot market, warm market, cold market. He glanced upon that. So now that we have those lists, and not only do we have those lists, we were instructed to reach out to um, repair damage relationships. So if you chose one or if you chose 10, you've reached out. And then we were challenged to contact only three 
three of our hot markets asking for that support or where they fall in the Pentium of our um, connection. So today is no different team, an actual script to go to your hot market practice. This is all we're doing team. So practice. And he mentioned habits. I thought that this was very, very important in what we're doing because all we're doing is giving you different methods to use in different areas and and different venues and platforms and it, it just might work <laughs> all right but if we practice it and it becomes familiar with us to us we know just where to insert it so the script is when we're reaching out and this and keep in mind team that this is based upon conversations that you've already had all right I wouldn't shoot this out to your cold market. <laughs> That's just what FYI, but your hot market, it should roll a little something like this. Now we talked about tools. Pavrasi is great because they give us everything. <laughs> they give us photos, they give us videos, they give us, they give us information, video written all across the board on how you join this business, what's in this business, what's expected from this business. So choose a tool. My well, and I think too, sorry, I'm going to jump in. When you say tool, um, that's another thing that Comet Salt, I pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for that between the different fees. Paparazzi has created that, that is less fees and it's free. It doesn't have that monthly. So that's another thing that is huge. Paparazzi Premier, if, if you're in that position team, and don't have a system already, that is your role. And tools, speaking of tools, I don't want this to be generic to you. So when we use the word tools, we're talking about videos. We're talking about something in writing. We're talking about pictures. We're talking about any tool that can get the information across. Because remember team, we are here to educate. That is our job. We are here to educate. So. You choose a tool. I personally have been trained to do video. I encourage you, take a five to seven minute video introducing the business or you or your team. Pick which avenue you want to go. Hey, you want a customer base. Take a five, seven minute video of yourself. It doesn't have to be long. If it's long, it's okay. That's what he was, that's what he, uh, he cause the intro with comparison. And this is where that fit in. Don't look at the tool that you have liked so much and think that you have to purposely and specifically duplicate that tool. You like that tool? You like the information it gives out? Create your own just like it. You can do anything on a smartphone team. You can edit, you can cut, and you can reach out to this platform and, and ask for help for all of that too. But I would encourage you to choose a tool. You're going to send it out to those have you, who you've had convo with. And he, here is your verbatim. You describe the tool that you're going to use. Number one, describe the tools you're going to use. Hey, if I sent you a quick two-minute video, actually it's two minutes and 30 seconds. If I sent you a two-minute and 30-second video, uh, do you think you could find some time to watch? That is your first response. Two, if, it, and depending on the response, yes or no, uh, but never accept no, but that's a whole nother training. <laughs> if I give it to you, when will you be able to watch? The, here is asking for commitment time. So number one, hey, I have the seven minute video. You think you have time to watch? Yes or no. But if they say yes, if I send it to you, when do you have time to watch? Number two. Number three, and here is where you put the ball in their court. If they tell you, uh, well, I usually work, try to pinpoint it down to a time and a date, preferably within the next 24 hours is suggested team. Number three is the, when do you, when do you think you can review it? And here is, where he mentioned a lot of people stop at number three. When do you think you have time to review it? Because maybe they don't respond. We call it ghosted. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's taking them a day or two to respond to you. Don't look at it like that, team. 
you send out another question. Hey, did you get my last message? Hey, I usually say, can I reach you here? <laughs> did you get my last message? But always don't feel like you're ghosted. Maybe things, something happened. Maybe they forgot. And we're here to put it back in front of them and uh, remind them of the education. But yeah, ask why. Why no response? Are you too busy? Are you this? Try to get more information to find out more needs because it's the reason why they didn't respond. It could have been just my bubbly personality, but nonetheless, ask the question because that information only grows us and it corrects us from not doing it so much the next time. Number four, this is the response. So if I contacted you, remember on that specific day, specific time, if I contacted you, you would have been able to see it for sure, right? So if I contacted you after that, you would have been able to see it for sure, right? Yes, the conversation with the person. All right, this is verbatim team. And don't think that this is gonna happen in one sitting. It might happen over a course of a couple of days. That's okay. That is the momentum. Preferably you have these conversations going on like crazy in your inbox, all right? So you have a hard time keeping up. That's what it's uh, intended to do. Fill that funnel team. And we're filling that funnel with connections and communication. So uh, the number five, ooh, did I jot that down? Yes, you did. What is the best way to contact you by phone or by text? What is the best way to contact you would be your follow up. So now you have a hot market who's interested in seeing your video. You have a date and time. You also have a follow up date and time. All right. And the conversation will continue. So that is the scripting. And we talked about comparison. I encourage you go to some of your uh, business partners, your downline, they have good info too. Your upline, the elite team, and find video or find some type of tool that you would love to send to someone who you think would be great, awesome. And that's your intro. Hey, I know someone, I, I know, well, we we got the script from yesterday, team, how you dis, how you disqualify them. You introduce yourself, you introduce, they already know what you do, preferably, because that's part of the conversation, right? And you disqualify them, and it's a, hey, I have this seven-minute video. Because even when you disqualify them, team, them taking a look at that, that footage or that tool that you sent does embed a seed. It gives them an aha. Whether it's not for them, they aha could think of someone else. Or later down the road, aha, I remember this video. I'm going to reach out. You know, so whatever tool you decide, get it within the five to minute, five to seven minutes, pick your heart market. And he called this training all out master. This is good team. This is where my growth happened in the last season. All out massive action. All out massive action is just simply correcting bad habits. So with this one team, we want to go full out, make as many calls and connections, uh, inboxes as you can. And for some of us, we'll see that that all out massive action is too much. So we might have to scale it back a little bit. And some may feel that, oh, I could have pushed a little harder on that or what I call an all-out massive. So I'm going to go a little harder the next time because I know I have that time or that space. So this is the growth period team. This is where we're documenting. Remember, we're filling in those 15 minutes. I made 15. In my 15 minutes, I made three contacts. I added three friends or whatever you're doing back there. The calendar, that's coming into play here. The list. That's coming into play. And the, the script, verbatim, start with the conversation. Never leave the question open. In, well, always leave the question open-ended. Leave them with the question, something to think about and come back to you. And be patient, team. Like I say, it doesn't have to happen in 24 hours. It may take a couple of days to have some conversations. That's good. Give them some time to trust you, know you, that you're responding. So I don't want to take too much time, but that's the basics of it. He gave us the comparison. He gave us the let's change these bad habits. The negatives that we think are going on, turn them into learning lessons. 
Make the plan for the next day to be better focused. Oh, I didn't make my power hour on today. I'm going to be focused. I'm going to be up extra early and have my tools ready and be in front of the camera. Set it up for the next day should you feel that you're off course on one day. Pray for the next, all right? And let's go get it and be a better us. And it'll happen every day. He talked about growing. That is less than 3% of one <laughs> growth every day, all right? Showing up every day here is a growth every day. You're going to be surprised. Oh, oh, he talked about so much. I caught it in Kajabi team and you can speed it up. <laughs> so yeah, he talked about so much. The growth. So I want to leave room for questions and concerns. You're so awesome. I love you, Tanya. <laughs> Where I have wonder because we have talked about your story that um, if you, that could be a tool of sending that out there. But I think a way of doing it is saying here, um, can you critique me on this? So you're doing it in an indirect way of just saying, hey, Tanya, I think Tanya would be phenomenal. I would love her on my team. And so I'm going to say, Tanya, I really value you. Give her, give them a compliment and then say, will you look at this and just tell me what you think, what I should change or give them some sort of a, um, if you don't have one, send them your upline, send them your sideline. Just say, how do you think, is this like, do you like this? Should I do it just like this? Should I change it? And just kind of ask them those questions where we have customer appreciation. I put that link in the group. Um, that's another thing that we talk about. People get on and tell their stories and it's for 30 minutes. You can invite people there and just say, here, I would like to create something like this. Will you get on and just give me feedback? Did you like it? Did you not? Because then you're indirectly getting them to watch about other people's stories. And then it's like, oh, well, I didn't say, here, are you interested? You're just doing it in a different way. And so, and then with the customer appreciation that we do, um, we tell them, go back to the person that invited you. Because I don't want your people. I want you to have your people. So we have one minute. Any questions? This was mentioned, team, and I just feel the need to say it. Try to do the activities because one thing will relate to another down the line and then you'll reflect here and you'll go, try to do it. If it's not today, to try to do it, all right? Because it will change the course, the direction for you. It's scary, <laughs> but try to do it, okay? Any questions? I'm like trying to look. Chat, Brittany, the way to describe Friday and kids. Don't forget, Google's our best friends. Go back there. There are a ton of videos that we can use. You can chop up. You can put your voiceovers. Be creative. Remember, we got the social media run. Revert back to that, to creating your tools. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be long, 60 seconds. You want to just educate them. You want to give them enough information. No, thank you. Thanks for scrolling. Listen, like I'm on a live. No, thanks for showing up, team. Listen, because I have days too. Thanks for showing up. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Okay, Great. we've got four minutes. Am I doing math right? One of these days I'll have it down. So go do new releases. If you have questions, put it in um, the main question that is um, pinned to the top of this group, or you can put it into... This chat, we're here to help each other out and we love you guys and good luck and till tomorrow. Uh, one question, Britt, the script oh. is, will it be in the dialogue for the, for the post or should I post the script? So I posted it on Facebook, but I will also, um, I have my assistant that's gonna go in and she's gonna put all of the transcript in there. Happy shopping team. Bye you guys.